Hi guys, and welcome to this video on the... This is a Valentine's video, and it's about painting a love wreath. Yes. Uh, I'm do doing a small mist here. I'm just using a small mist spray. Misting the paper with uh, water, clean water. And then I'm just going to dive right in here. I just want to tell you that the paper is uh, 300 grams uh, cold press from Sennelier. It's a nice uh, small size, so uh, I kind of like that. It has uh, glued sides as well, so it's easy. I'm using a big brush, Betty Hayway's 11 right now, and just painting flowers straight into the misted areas here. And I have an idea of painting a heart-shaped wreath uh, of flowers. And I am using a uh, quinacridone rose here. And you, you saw I was just putting it in the palette and that was a little bit dirty. So, uh, and I think it might have been a um, blue of some kind because it, it did turn them into a little bit of purple. Just dipping in a little bit of quin on New Gamboge, sorry, and letting that spread. And you can see how I'm not touching the paper uh, a lot. I'm not mixing a lot and that way allowing, allowing the paint to just flow into the misted area. I really really love that. I guess it's almost like a mystical um, ethereal feel which is kind of cool. Um, before the flowers dry completely in some areas I drop in a little bit more color to boost the color while it's still wet. So you get a bit of color variation. You can see I did that there as well. So it kind of just flows uh, naturally in the water. Just, uh, just adding paint here and there, um, working everywhere, uh, but still having that heart shape in mind. Uh, and you can see how that top flower really just spread out. That's kind of cool. Um, I might just strengthen it later so it's not looking like the one corner is just uh, completely flowing off the page. But let's see. You can see I'm just working in flowers that are, have four petals. Very easy, almost like uh, tear-shaped petals. Some small, some big, uh, to get a nice variation. And still just working with the New Gamboge and the Quinn Rose from Daniel Smith, by the way. See, I'm just letting it flow a little bit here by tipping the paper. And uh, you really don't have to do much. Now I'm putting a little bit of sap green into the palette. And again, the palette is dirty. So if you are getting another green by using your sap green, that's just because I have a lot of weird stuff in my palette. Um, and just painting some nice leaves here keeping them organic looking, letting them flow out of the out of the page. And I can show that you that in a, in a second, but just, you know, getting them to kind of connect the flowers, um, give, giving them an, a beautiful organic look. See, I'm just going to attach the heart shape here to the page. Um, by doing these um, stems almost, keeping them very organic looking as well. And this is for uh, Valentine's, so uh, you might want to do this as a card to a loved one. Maybe your uh, boyfriend or girlfriend or hobby or wife or maybe even uh, your cat. <laughs> if you, your cat doesn't eat it. Or maybe just do this for yourself because it's just a really nice relaxing project. You don't have to do, you don't have to think too much because this is just about painting into the water and letting that do its thing. And uh, kind of just trusting the process. And this is a great project if you don't have much time. Um, it's almost, It's only like uh, 15 minutes or so and um, 
that is just great if you want to just sit down for a little bit and relax and have a quick and uh, nice project to work on. And the reason why it's it's uh, so quick is because we don't work in many layers. We kind of boost the colors as we go. And that is just really, really lovely. Just You can see how I'm really just working my way around. Um, using the tip of my brush and adding these greens. Not being too careful to uh, separate the greens from the from the the blooms, and even if, as you know, green is uh, complementary to red, so it could create a little bit of a muddy affair. Uh, but uh, if you don't mess it up too much, yeah, it's broken. What is wrong with this? <laughs> I'm just working this. Uh, there it goes. Just softening that to give it a nice, again, a nice flow. You can see how I kind of made the the water flow in the direction of the stems as well. So we kind of have a direction on these uh, flowers. Now I'm just putting in a little bit more rose in the center. So that gets boosted. And remember to do this when it's dried up a little bit not too much but if it's very wet it'll just uh, dissolve and be a, a very big part of the flower and then you won't be able to see the boost a bit of splatter here and there because splatters are fun and some places you will still have water in the, at this time uh, period of time so some of it will just flow into the water and uh, be all beautiful and misty as well I'm really loving this already. I think it's just getting really beautiful. And I love just adding paint as we go. Just boosting and adding more color and more interest and just going with the flow. Because that's what this uh, style is really about. There's a lot of water on the page now. So uh, I think I'm actually going to dab it. Uh, up a little bit here you go so it will dry up easier and uh, there you go okay it doesn't didn't dry up that fast but I did let it dry for a little bit so uh, I can work on a second layer um, this is cotton paper and does take up a little bit of time to dry if you worked on a uh, cellulose paper it might dry up faster and you didn't have to um, didn't actually have to wait but it can be really nice if you want to really boost the color to wait for it to completely dry I switched the brush to a size 4 and now I'm just working with boosting the colors wet on dry and um, I'm starting with the shapes that are actual I can actually see as flowers but this one for example doesn't really look like a flower yet so I'm just going to paint one more on top but not covering it up uh, I want that yellow to shine through so I'm actually just starting with kind of the middle of the flower and adding you can see how I'm just working from the center and out and adding the petals and then I can wet the outer edge of the petal and make them look um, softer and uh, still have that background shining through you can see I'm working really fast because I want my my flowers to be super loose and I am working still with these four petaled flowers um, still boosting the color as uh, while it's still wet so I just added a little bit of yellow and just painting some flowers in yellow and some in quinacridone and rose so not thinking too much about which flower is which because that doesn't matter really. We are not painting an exact flower uh, of a, <laughs> you know a botanical representation. This is all from the imagination. So uh, you don't have to think too much about that. You can see I'm just working my way around here, defining the shape of the heart a lot more now. Uh, the first layer, because there was so much water, you can't really see that many of the shapes. 
Uh, so it became more like a background, which is uh, just stunning here. And uh, it's a perfect way to make backgrounds uh, for flowers, florals, um, to, to almost do the same motif twice, but the first one in, in water. So that is a small tip for you there, if you wonder how to, to make backgrounds. And here I'm adding a small pieces of small flowers uh, here and there uh, to balance the composition. When we are painting something like this, it can be really nice to have different sizes of flowers to just have some variation. Uh, and if you don't have, if you have like a bouquet of just one type of flowers, then add buds or something like that. A flower from seen from the side or something that can vary the the size that is uh, really good. And if you want to dive deeper into to, uh, loose watercolor, which is something I really, really love, then I actually have a free class if you haven't seen that. Um, I know thousands have already seen it, so uh, it's a really popular class. And I'll put a link for it here below and I'll share all the details and tips and tricks on painting loose watercolor and actually taking you through an entire painting of uh, of tulips and i have to tell you loose watercolor is the most relaxing thing to paint so uh, if you haven't tried it yet then i would definitely recommend trying it out because it's so much fun um yes and you can see how i'm painting some uh, small leaves that kind of go out of the frame of this heart and that's to give some a uh, beautiful organic look. I love when something is off and imperfect that kind of makes it perfect so try to see if you can get something to go out of the frame a little bit and add these beautiful lines it gives a beautiful uh, a beautiful variation again in the in the shapes so we don't have this we have these uh, very soft color shapes but also these hard lines uh, and that gives a nice contrast and if you try this and uh, share I'd love to see it so you can share it on Instagram and use the hashtag Camilla Damsbo Art Inspired I'd love to see that and you can tag me uh, in there if you like and I actually have a student Facebook group as well where you can share your work and um, people are sharing in there every day it's the best group on Facebook I have to say and that's not because of me um, that's because of my students because they are incredible and so supportive and sweet so I if you are on Facebook then definitely go in there and I'll put a link for the Facebook group of course here uh, below as well and I'll put a list for of the materials so you can find that too um, so you are all ready to go to try this. And of course, you don't have to use the same materials as I do. Um, if you have a different paper or different colors, different size of brush, then that is totally fine. Here I'm uh, putting a little bit of detail to some of the petals, working from the center and out, just using the tip of my brush uh, and a bit of, of uh, quinacridone rose, wet and dry, small lines, just to indicate the shape and a, a little bit of the texture. And you don't have to do this on all the petals. You can definitely just uh, go with a few. That's all up to you. By doing this, we get a lot more um, focus on the flowers that actually have this detail. and. Uh, Oftentimes we don't want focus to be on everything. We want people to look in one certain area. So uh, don't uh, overdo it. And I think we are about done here. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to try it at home. Maybe paint it for your boyfriend or girlfriend. And I will see you in another video. Happy painting!